Hi everyone, Witch Library here with Beatrix too. Beatrix has his own hat, right B? Look at that. Oh, we just flew in on our broom, didn't we Beatrix? Here, put your hat down. See our broom right here? We just flew in, did you see us? I wonder if you saw us. Are you guys ready for a story? Beatrix is. Get on your magic carpets. All right B, take your hat, go get on your, your magic carpet. All right, good. I'm gonna put my broom right down here for the story. And, oh, Berto, where are you? Again, Berto? What is wrong with you, Berto? Why are you down there, huh? Oh, the scary. I'm scary? Mm-hmm. You know I'm not a real witch, right? I'm not a real witch. I'm just dressed up because we're reading a book about a witch. Hmm? Yeah, and it's Halloween. Some of the kids at home might be dressing like a witch too, right? Hmm? I don't like that. It's scary. It's just pretend. It's fun to dress up and pretend. Hmm. It's okay. Really? Yes. Now, introduce everyone to yourself. Hello, Alberto. I am a bookworm. I love to read. I love to sing. I like to kiss. Mwah. But I don't like witches. Okay, you don't have to like witches. But can you get everyone ready for the story? Okay. Put your witch eyeballs in. Ah, the better to see you with, my dear. Put your witch ears on. Aha, uh -huh. the better to hear your story with witch library. Put your witch mouth in. Ah, can you help me? Mm-mm. All right, we'll do it without you. Cackle like a witch. <laughs> can you do that? <laughs> no, Berta doesn't like that. It's okay, you don't have to. All right, everybody, zip, zip. Put your seatbelt on, Berto. Okay. Okay, you guys ready? Berto, count us down. We're on the magic carpet. And we're seatbelt in and ready. Five, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Whoa! Hold on! We are here. Uh-oh. I don't like this. I think I'm going to hide. Oh, just read the story, Ms. Library. Okay, I'll read the story. Okay, you just go down there. It's fine. You're going to love the story. It's not to be afraid of because it's called Room on the Broom. Look, my sister, maybe? And it's written by Julia Donaldson and the pictures are by Axel Scheffler. Hey. Ah, the witch had a, what's this? Meow, meow, a cat. Yes, look, we're gonna put her right on to the broom. There you go. All right, and the witch had a cat and she also had a hat. That was, what color is my hat? Black. And long ginger hair and in a braid down her back. Oh, how the cat purred and how the witch grinned. What do you think grin means? Smile. As they sat on the broomstick, broomstick and threw the through and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off her the witch as they flew to the ground they searched for the hat but no hat could be found oh my hat then out of the bushes on thundering paws there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws woof 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 woof, woof. he dropped it politely then eagerly said 
as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. He says, woof, 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 woof. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room, woof, on the broom for a dog like me? Huh? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. Get on that broomstick, dog. Here you go. The witch tapped the broomstick. Whoop. Hey, here's my magic wand. You know, I'm half mermaid, half witch. Mm -hmm. the, the witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. Over the fields and forest they flew. The dog wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud. <laughs> and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow. Whoosh! Oh no, from her braid, there it goes, just like that. Oh, there's some eyes looking out of there. Uh-oh. Too many owls going, whoo, what's going on? Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground, they searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear splitting shriek, there flapped a green bird with a bow in his beak. She politely dropped it, then bent her head low, then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow. I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. Get on the broom, bird. The witch tapped the broomstick. And whoosh, they were gone. There they go. Over the reeds and rivers they flew. The bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow, but let go of her wand. Whoops, there it goes. Down, cried the witch. And they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with the dripping wet wand. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the dritch as the witch dried the wand on a fold of her cloak. Wait, let me dry the wand. Here's my cloak. I'm just gonna dry it. Do, do, do. Ah, all nice and dry, perfect. And Froggy, what are you gonna say? Ribbit, ribbit, I am a frog, as clean as can be. Is there room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes! <laughs> said the witch. So the frog bounded on. There he goes. Bloop. Get on the back of the dog. There you go. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy. Woohoo! Look at the frog. Boy, that's a lot on that broom, isn't it? Hope it's gonna be okay. Snap! Oh no! The broom snapped in two. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into a bog. The witch's half broomstick flew into, the, into a cloud and the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Uh-oh. I am a dragon as mean as can be. And 
which, with French fries, taste delicious to me. Wait, French fries? Whoa. No! cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help! cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. Well, I see a bug and a bone. But I guess that's not gonna help her, huh? The dragon flew near with glint in his eyes and said, just this once, I'll have witch without fries. <laughs> but as he, just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. Oh, my! It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered, and furred. Ooh, it had four frightful heads. It had wings like a bird, and its terrible voice, when it started to speak, was a yowl and growl and croak and shriek. It, it dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off! That's my witch! Oh. Look at the dragon. Uh. Uh, the dragon drew back and he started to shake. Uh, I I I'm sorry, he spluttered. Uh, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. He spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Bye bye. There he goes. Then down flew the bird, and down jumped the frog. Down climbed the cat, and phew, said the dog. And thank you, oh, thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you, I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up her cauldron. Hey. I have a cauldron. You want to see my cauldron? Do you know what a cauldron is? That's what a witch uses to cook up her potions. See my cauldron? That's a good cauldron, isn't it? She filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone! Throw something in! So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. They all threw them in. Oh, wait a minute, let's throw something in my cauldron. Good idea. Okay, let's see, I've got, let's see, how about we put in a cone, a pine cone? Ooh, maybe a orange spider. And I've got a twig here. Here's a twig, throw it in. Ooh, and a bone. And oh, I have a little bat. Where are you, bat? Come back here. Ooh, a bat, that's a good thing to throw in. Maybe another cone, yeah, pine cone? Oh, yes. <laughs> now, where is my wand? Hello, wand, where'd you go? Here's my wand. Okay, she said, throw it in, and then we're gonna stir it up. And we're going to say, eeggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Can you say that? Eeggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Oh, let's see what we've made. Let's see. Let's go back. Look at her. Eeggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose oh, a truly magnificent broom with seats for the witch and the cat and the dog, a nest for the bird, and a pool for the frog. Yes, cried the witch, and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick, and whoosh, they were that broomstick. 
I'd say everyone looks pretty happy. Look at the dog, he's reading a book. The cat has a nice drink. The bird's happy with a nest. Look at the frog. Everyone looks pretty happy. The end. See, Berto, not all witches are bad. There are some really nice witches, like this one. All right, we'll see you next story. I wonder if you're gonna meet a nice witch soon. Hmm, maybe. Look out for witches on Halloween.